Straight out of CES, let's talk Bluetooth locks. We take a look at Dog and Bone. This is their LockSmart product, keyless trackable security and a lock. Welcome, everybody, to Spike Studio product review. This time we are looking at a company called Dog and Bone. They sent us their Bluetooth lock. This is a weatherproof indoor, outdoor, super strong lock, padlock, and they make a couple different things, but we're gonna take a look at it up close and then come back and give our overall opinion. So here we are up close and personal. This is LockSmart from Dog and Bone. This is an awesome <laughs> Bluetooth lock. Works with an app on your phone, so we're gonna have to look at both. First, we'll take a look inside the box and then we'll look at the application and put it all together. So inside the box, what we have is a micro USB for charging. You can use any micro USB you need to, the actual lock. So for comparison purposes, we're gonna put the phone back in play. You can see, this is a full Sony, so you can see how big this lock is. It's super thick, it's super heavy. And then on the bottom, is the actual port. This is where we're gonna do our charging, as well as if you ever need to get an emergency, you can see on the bottom, micro USB. So to keep this capped, why is this important you wanna keep it capped? This lock is waterproof. So this is weatherproof and waterproof. It's supposed to be inside, outside, whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna set up the application next, and the app does have a sign up screen that we have to go through, so we're gonna take care of that in just a minute, and then we'll come back and look at the application. So here we are, we'll move the actual case up here a little closer so you can see, but we're inside. It's saying you to actually go ahead and push the button at the bottom of the base of the lock to go ahead and turn it on, make sure it's fully charged, which we didn't advance. There's a little LED indicator here on the lock, uh, orange when it's not, green when it is, and you should get, they say, up to two years of service. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on by pushing the bottom part here. You can see it blink there. So it's ready to go, we'll hit next. It's searching for the lock. We already have Bluetooth on, of course. Now this does work up to, you know, let's say five meters or so, maybe they say 15, but let's be realistic about, you know, how far can actually, <laughs> you can be from the lock. So lock found. So we're gonna walk through the setup once it found the lock. Now keep in mind, you can actually trade ownership of a lock to someone else later. There's different things you can work with. You can only be logged in from one device at one time, but you can actually have, you know, multiple people share keys. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So you have your padlock. We can add more if we want to. We're gonna actually look at our padlock and there it is. So now there's a bunch of settings to deal with on this. One of the settings, we'll talk about tap to unlock. First, we'll just do the simple tap to unlock. As you can see, it's green. It lets you know unlocked. We heard the lock pop. We'll go ahead and lock it again. It does it very well. There's an activity log that's built into this that'll pull down and load. It'll show you everyone that has opened the lock and when they opened it, which is cool is if you share the keys with someone else. Now, we should talk about the application itself. There is tap to unlock, as you see is already highlighted. You can use fingerprint capabilities and you can use a passcode. So you can use all of these as you know separate from each other, but I like using a passcode or if you have an iPhone, you use the actual fingerprint. Show your battery indicator. Can it be unlocked by a shared user? Yes or no, because you can share keys. Power save mode. Instead of it waiting a few minutes, as you can see, it's still green down here. It means it'll stay on for about five minutes. You can actually shut this down to almost 20 seconds, so it saves power a lot. You can see the firmware, you can see the serial number, but the best part about it is also the ability to share. This will send them a link. What happens is they actually have to download the app and then they get a digital key that they can use. And you can revoke the key, you can share it with multiple people. You can have up to like 50 locks inside of here. This is very cool technology. This is the way of the future for a lot of things to go. What I like about this, of course, is inside the padlock is the ability just to and it unlocks. That's how easy it is. So even remotely, and we'll talk about it, and you'll hear a little bit of far away. We'll do it across the room so you know. You can see it's still unlocked. So let's go up, let's talk a few more things about the service and the app and what it can do, and then give our overall opinion. So what do we think overall? Uh, this is great technology. This is the way it's gonna be. Everyone has their phone with them all the time. Uh, there is other vendors that are making Bluetooth type locks. One thing I did find interesting is really there's no way to open it without the phone. Like there's no touch panel emergency entrance type thing. So you'll need to find a phone to load the app on to always open it up. Once you can authenticate, you can use anybody's phone. So if you lose your phone, don't panic. Just download the app onto something else. Uh, what else we like about it is the ability inside the application itself to share the key with other people, to uh, have, of course, multiple users, multiple locks. I mean, they're making it so simple and so easy. See battery life on there. Everything you want to do is inside the application. You have to be within, they say, you know, so many meters. You're usually going to be close anyway when you unlock your lock. The other part about it is the shelf life for this, let's call it. They're talking two years on a single charge or 3,000 opens. So if you use it every day, you may need to charge a little bit sooner, but 3,000 opens is huge amount of times. This would be great for students that always have their phones with them, don't want to carry extra keys or keep track of them, or 
better yet, you own a bunch of storage facilities or whatever may case may be, you can control so many locks onto one app. That's the other beautiful part. So not just between sharing and friends. The activity log in the app is great. See who opened the lock and when they opened it. If they put their picture in there, you could even see who that was. But if you've shared the key, you'd hopefully know who it was. Think about maybe you have to let somebody in and do work on a home. Use a lock like this. Kind of strange, but it's possible <laughs> that you'd have it in there. Otherwise, uh, the ability to set the battery level, the battery savings, everything else. I don't know. We're loving it. That's all I can tell you right now is that we're actually loving this thing. So Dog and Bone will say thank you to sending this over. We are going to actually use this. Uh, to secure some of the equipment when we are on the road. So we have the carry cases. This is going to be an excellent addition for us when we're on the road, uh, locking everything down. So thank you again for watching. Make sure you subscribe to all our product reviews here at Spike Studio. And we're going to get ready to get to work on Dog and Bone. <laughs>